Hi everyone. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a beautiful lattice top for all of your pies. Roll out the rest of your pie dough and cut it into strips. You want to roll it about a quarter of an inch thick so that you have nice even strips to use. If you do it too thin they're going to be breaking on you and you do need to move them several times. And if you do it too thick, then they're actually going to take longer to bake in the oven and you risk burning the edges, which you really don't want. Uh, you can use any kind of knife, a paring knife for this, or um, I have this tool. It's a fun pastry wheel, so it has the straight edge on one side and this pretty uh, crimped edge on the other. So that's what I use to make my strips, but like I said, any kind of knife will do. And so I'll show you my strips here. So here's one, and you're going to need them at all different lengths. So it's okay if the edges aren't absolutely perfect um, or you've rolled things out differently because we're gonna kind of use a variety of things. So start by laying five to six strips, depends on how wide your pie is, across going this direction. one end here your anchor point so the ends of this dough you just want to press gently into your blind baked crust so that you know this is the end that's going to stay and will lift from the other end next we're going to start the actual lattice so you're going to pull back different strips we're going to start with the second from the edge and pull it back We're going to skip the center and pull this one back. Then you want to take another strip lay it across like this and put those strips back into place. Now we're going to do the same process but this time we'll lift every other strip that we didn't lift last time. Starting with our one on the end skip our one in the center skip this one and our one on the edge and now we'll put those strips back into place and you can see this is why it's important that you don't have strips that are too thin because they are moved several times and now we're just going to repeat that process until we're completely finished. I think that looks pretty good. You can um, always make your strips um, thinner in width and you can put them closer together if you want but I like to do a little bit looser of a lattice especially on a fruit pie so that you get to see all of the beautiful fruit underneath they're all kind of like little windows and then you get to see the fruit um, bubble up when it bakes in between I think it's really pretty next thing you want to do is just get rid of the excess dough that's on the end of your strips it's okay if it doesn't look completely perfect on the edges what matters is that now you have this beautiful lattice design on top so one last thing before it's ready to go in the oven I like to brush mine with egg wash egg wash is just one egg and you can do a little bit of milk or a little bit of water I add a little bit of milk to mine and at this time you just want to brush all of the pie dough that you just put on top and all the way up to your edges. Doing this will give it a really pretty golden brown color as it bakes. You can also sprinkle um, sanding sugar on top which is just uh, sugar that's not super fine like you would buy in the store. It's larger granules. Um, you'll often see them on the top of muffins, things like that. Um, you could also brush it with honey. I've done that when it comes out of the oven. Brush the strips with honey and then you get uh, a nice crispy glaze on that as well. 
and that adds a little bit of sweetness without using the sugar. Or you can just do the egg wash, which is what I'm doing today. Now you have a beautiful pie with a gorgeous lattice top and it's ready for the oven. Now because I blind baked my base crust, I'm actually going to bake this in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes and then cover the outer edge with aluminum foil. This is going to stop the outer crust from burning because I've already baked it once, but will allow the lattice crust to get nice and golden brown. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you get all of the notifications when my videos are uploaded. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram with the Sweet Notes Bakery. I'm out of Hagerstown, Maryland, and I upload new content constantly. If you're interested in learning the basics of pie dough on how to make it and how to make the base crust, then you can click the video below and that'll give you all the information that you need. Thanks for watching.